I'm generally optimistic about this season, um, guardedly so. I think that we have probably the most uh, ability and the most depth that I've had here for a while. I feel good about our team. We have good balance uh, inside and outside. Uh, we've got some upperclassmen returning, which we haven't had for a while. We have a good balance of upperclassmen and freshmen. So, like I said, we've, we're excited to get started. Uh, we're guardedly optimistic, but I think we also are in a position that we might be able to surprise some people this year. Well, one of the things I like about this team is I think that we're a, a versatile and adaptable. Um, I think, you know, our first instinct is going to be that we want to run the basketball and uh, push it up a little more. I think we have some guards who are very good in transition and can penetrate. We have some good shooters that can finish on the outside, and we have some post players that can run. But I also think that we have the ability to slow it down if, if that's the kind of game that's going to turn into a very, you know, physical type of game, which usually happens when you get into the conference. It's, uh, it's slower paced than during the regular season. So, um, again, I'm optimistic that we're a team that, that can change and it's not just one dimensional because when you are, people can take that one dimension away from you. And so hopefully we can counter with some, some different styles if that's needed. But we would like to play at a faster pace you know, if that's possible. Our main ball handlers probably this year will be Jenna Rustmiles. She has really impressed us with uh, her ability to uh, take care of the basketball for a first year player. The other player that's going to have the ball in her hands a lot is Erica Yost. Probably as good a player as I've ever coached in the open floor as far as being able to penetrate and either score herself or, or to find other people. Rachel Allen will have the ball in her hands a lot too. She is probably our best defensive player, maybe the best in the conference. And I think that she's going to be able to uh, create a little bit more offense for us this year and be a better ball handler. Lindsey Gangloff and um, um, Erica Emanuel are also two players that can are very versatile, will go both inside and outside, but they make our outside stronger as well. Cassie Grieve returns. She's been our leading scorer the last two years and our leading rebounder, and she is in the best shape of her life, and uh, she's really uh, become um, much more explosive, runs the floor much better, and still hasn't lost any strength. She's going to be our, our uh, sort of center of attention on the inside. Um, Heather Hahn, she's extremely versatile, can also step outside and handle the ball if we need her to, as well as score inside. Another person who's really surprised us is Jessica Harrison. She's a freshman from Fort Wayne Snyder, and she's probably been the surprise player of the, uh, of the season so far. Uh, she's got great strength, really good hands, outstanding defensive player in the post. And then uh, Sam Hawk has also really done some good things for us. She can shoot the ball, she can post up, excellent passer. She has a lot of ability, she's going to play a lot for us this year.